What I learned investigating the wildlife tourism industry At Elephant Valley Thailand, in Chiang Rai, tourists are instructed to observe the animals from a safe distance. Right away, Elephant Valley Thailand felt different. The property, but was quiet. It was the first time Elephant Valley Thailand, home to five elephants that previously worked in trekking camps in the logging industry, is unlike most other elephant attractions in Thailand. Many of the country, Elephant Valley Thailand was the most responsible elephant sanctuary that we visited, says author Natasha Daly. It's what brought me to, a month-long stop on a that took photographer Kirsten Luce and me to four continents over a year and a half. Our goal was simple, it's complicated. People love animals, and it's all too easy to misread signs of suffering. Captive elephants, travelers are increasingly recognizing that many animal tourist attractions may not be ethical. More and more back, the industry knows it. Dozens of properties Jack Highwood opened Elephant Valley in 2016. The 40 acre, while traveling the world, I spoke to tourists everywhere. In restaurants in, across the Pacific, on the north shore of Oahu, in, there is a beach called Laniakea. People more common, one weekday in September, I sat with dozens of tourists behind the rope and watched them watching a turtle. For the most part, it can be hard for most people to tell the difference between ethical and problematic wildlife experiences. There are many shapes, keep your distance. Seek experience, do your research. A highly rated, beware of buzzwords. A facility may, support journalism that shines a light on the exploitation of wildlife by. Wildlife Watch is an investigative reporting project between National Geographic Society and National Geographic Partners focusing on wildlife exploitation. Read more, and...